This is mall number two for me because I went to Flatiron yesterday. I like how Andrew immediately just gets on his fucking camera. <laughs> this one's a lot easier to use than my other one. I have two of these, and my other one's the older model, and the older model is a lot harder to use. Uh, it's, it's just a lot weirder. What the hell's that? <laughs> Oh, I love like the leaves in that up there. Alright, out of service. Use the manual ones. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are returning back to the Denver area, checking out a mall in the suburb of Lakewood. Welcome to the Colorado Mills, a success story from the Mills Group. This mall is a powerhouse for the Denver community and continues to live on to this day as one of the more successful centers in the Denver area. Let's check out this behemoth of a shopping center. I warn you, this is going to be a long one, so be prepared to sit down and relax for a little bit, kick off some time, and just enjoy this one. I also do apologize for a bunch of the jump cuts. This was the first mall that we visited on this day, and we decided to spend a lot of time here, look around, and check out some stuff. So, yeah. kick off the history, as a project by the Mills Corporation, Colorado Mills would open in November of 2002, with over 180 shops and restaurants and its 1.4 million square feet of retail space, Colorado Mills would become one of the largest shopping centers in Colorado. The mall would very quickly become a major powerhouse for the Denver area, and being located in the suburb of Lakewood, it would leave a prime spot for most of the western suburbs of Denver.
Colorado Mills would stick to the normal Mills tradition with its classic Mills architecture and design, as well as featuring a lot of mixed type of stores, including outlet stores and a lot of just standard regular national chain stores. Colorado Mills would also be home to 12 anchor stores at the time. Some of the current anchors include Burlington Coat Factory, Dick's Sporting Goods, Forever 21, H&M, Off-Broadway Shoe Warehouse, Rods and Bods Museum, which used to be Saks Off Fifth, Super Target, United Artists Theater, and the Slick City Action Park. There also used to be a Neiman Marcus Last Call store inside of Colorado Mills Mall. Colorado Mills would see a lot of success in the 2000s, and in 2007, Simon Property Group would acquire the Mills Corporation, and as a result, Simon would become the owners of Colorado Mills, whom which currently still own Colorado Mills to this day. The 2010s would be very successful for Colorado Mills Mall. However, on May 8th, 2017, a hailstorm would cause several amounts of damage to the Colorado Mills property. The mall would be forced to close for six months and go under a remodel, removing all of the old mills design and giving it a fresh new look with a new paint job, updated signage, and a more modern refresh. The mall would reopen on November 21st of 2017. This leaves us to where we are today. Colorado Mills remains one of the most popular shopping destinations in the state of Colorado. That's pretty much all of the history I know about Colorado Mills. However, if you know more or would like to share your stories about Colorado Mills, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. However, for the rest of the video, I would like to talk about my experiences that I had here while visiting. So one thing I noticed while I was here was just how busy this place was. It was shocking to me when I saw a Mills Mall doing well because the other two Mills Malls I visited were both very dead. 
Now I know there's a ton of thriving mills properties out there, like Potomac Mills, Arizona Mills, Gurney Mills. I mean, the list goes on. A lot of these mills properties are doing well, but I know there were some that failed, like St. Louis Mills, Pittsburgh Mills, Cincinnati Mills, two of those mentioned I have visited before. And one thing I noticed about this place, mainly when I was visiting, I compared this place to Pittsburgh Mills, was that this place was not only in a much better location, but also just built at the right time. I think the thing is with Pittsburgh Mills, I think location, it's just too close to Ross Park Mall and Monroeville Mall to do well. But also, it opened in 2005, very late. This place opened in 2002, which I think was probably the best time frame to open this mall. But also, location of this mall definitely has something to do with it that I think is doing well. Lakewood is a very vibrant suburb of the Denver community. There's a lot of business surrounding this mall, a lot of up-and-coming things coming to this community. And even then, the closest competition to this mall would be Southwest Plaza, a little bit south of here, and the Cherry Creek Mall, which I also visited on this trip, so click subscribe so you won't miss that, a little bit east of here. And considering there's not too much nearby, I think that has something to do with why this mall does well. Plus, the sheer amount of stores in this mall is unreal. Now, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of this remodel. However, considering what happened to the mall to cause this remodel, it's understandable why it got the treatment it deserved. But I'm glad that some of the mill's remnants still remain in some form, like how they still divide up the neighborhoods of the mall, like the traditional mill's mall's wood, which is really nice still. Even though it's got updated signage, it is still played out the same way, which is cool. Now, I do have a couple things I would like to share about my visit to this mall. This was the second mall I visited of the four malls that I went to while I was down in Denver. Three of them I got to visit with Sophia and the group that I was with, which consisted of me, Sophia, Bella, and Ray Ray. All of them amazing people. Thank you guys for taking me here, and thank you, Sophia, for such an amazing day. But... This was the first mall that I got to see with all of them. I got to see Flatiron Crossings the day before by myself. But we had such a great time at this mall. I have a lot of memories here from this place now. Me and Sophia were getting each other gifts while we were here. So now I have a nice CD copy of Diamond Star Halos, courtesy of the FYE store here. Sophia also got me a Pac-Man light to add to my studio, which was pretty cool. So huge shout out to her. I also got her a couple gifts while I was here. We got to have lunch in the food court at this mall, which was really nice. There were a lot of cool photo opportunities that we took advantage of while we were here. And just 
All of us having a nice conversation as we were walking through this mall was just really nice. It was super fun getting to go exploring with a bunch of people compared to me usually going solo or with Ryan. But it was also nice to actually have a chance to visit some malls with my significant other and a few of her friends. So that was really nice. I do recommend a visit to Colorado Mills for sure. It is super fun here. There's a lot of cool things here, like the little space wing up ahead, which was added during the renovation. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, you will not be disappointed with Colorado Mills.
as we start walking out and leaving the Colorado Mills Mall, I would like to ask you what your thoughts on Colorado Mills are and what you think its future holds. Let me know in the comments below. Also, whilst you're down in the comments, if you have any memories of Colorado Mills Mall, please be sure to leave those in the comments below as I love hearing all of your stories. Whilst you're at it, be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to click that big red subscribe button so you don't miss any more mall content just like this. I have a lot more coming in the future and two more malls from this Colorado trip, so be sure to click subscribe for more awesome mall adventures. Until then guys, take care and have a great day. I will leave you guys with the drive around and then a little bit of bloopers we have from this video. Otherwise, it'd be like, yeah, the maximum. <laughs> you actually fit in that, that's great. But yeah, I think it's like 40 dollars Supporting a dollar. <laughs> let's Damn. just pretend. It'll be like, it's the experience. Alright. Let's make some noises. Alright, let's go. Wait, turn on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. Tied on in. This is the first mall we came to. Among us, among us, among us. I'm tweeting tea from Burger King. Burger King? I don't know why, but I feel so happy like sitting in between you guys. It just makes me really happy. Is this how you vlog? I like that. What are you going to do, Andrew? I walked out. Hold on. He's going to do something stupid. No! God! No! Oh, you're not just starting to run across the mall. How good is it? Whoops. Excuse me, sir. You can't be doing that in the store. I'm going to need that. Yeah. Just got out of Noah's car out of Noah's mall, I think, except when it's cold. It's fine, it's, 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 out, it's down there. Here, here, I'll find her. You're going a bad direction. Hold on. She's carrying a little Here you go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> there they go, Ray. Our Sophia's grown up. And she's off. <laughs> We're so proud. <laughs> Coco's on the right over there. <laughs> Don't you dare drop her. I'm gonna kick your. That was so funny. Thank you so much. Guys.